One of the things that I like to show to guests on my tours is just how far the fascists took Germany backwards. And I'd like to illustrate that today using the case of Dr. Friedrich Jacobs. Now, Jacobs was training to be a doctor in 1914 when he met a woman named Toni Kohn and she would become his wife. By 1920, he was a doctor and he started working in the municipal hospital here in the Berlin district of Lichtenberg. And within a few years, he set up the first maternity ward that this hospital ever had. What a great thing for the people of this area. At this time, home births were really common and they were very dangerous, not least because this district was very crowded, very poor, very unhygienic. So he saved tons of lives and it's the kind of thing that the Nazis might actually have liked because they were very concerned with Germany's low birth rate following the First World War. However, Jacobs was married to a Jewish woman and they didn't like this. Now he had a very important position here just running this entire department and they basically said to him, you either choose her or your job. And so he chose her. Um, in 1934, he was pushed out of his job. Now, he was still able to work after this right the way through 1945, and his wife managed to survive as well, but they went through a lot of hardships. He just ended up working kind of uh, a smaller job, let's say, in a clinic. He was no longer this fantastic leading doctor. Not only that, but fortunately, in a way, just before World War II, they said goodbye to their children, sent them off to England. I haven't been able to find out if they were part of the kinder transport, but I bet that they were. After World War II, he starts to work here again, and he's one of the first doctors to bring healthcare to people in this post-World War II period. He stays here for about three years, and in 1948, he and his wife decide to go to the UK and reunite with their children. Now, by the account that I saw, life in the UK was actually quite difficult for them. They struggle with the language. They struggle to actually be able to work there as doctors. In fact, as far as I know, they didn't actually work as doctors in the UK. And so I guess the point I'm trying to make with this story is we can see just on an individual level the incredibly tough choices that the Nazis forced upon people and as a result, the way that they completely ruined people's lives. Dr. Jacobs is now remembered in a couple of ways here in Berlin. There is a street named after him here in Lichtenberg and inside of the hospital, there's a whole board filled with information about his story as well.